In this month's Where in Ohio series, Mindy and I are taking you to a true hidden gem. It's a place many of you have not even heard of, let alone visited. And it's all about peace and quiet. A magnificent getaway where you can escape the grind of everyday life in our fast-paced society. The first thing you notice once you drive up to this remote property nestled deep in the woods is this. You are instantly surrounded by the beautiful outdoors. The view's crazy. I mean, you could see 40 or 50 miles in every direction, and you don't see any man-made products. And you really are out here. The cabins at Mohican are tucked back in the far northeast corner of Knox County. You forget that there's so much more that we are physically a part of when you are out in the woods hearing and seeing everything that is around you you're immediately connected in a way that you cannot do sitting inside of a building. Laura and Kevin Mooney own the property. Kevin was our official tour guide for the day. Our first stop, the event center, which is a five-level building made of wood. This is where rustic meets elegance. And it's, it's the wood that's done right. You know, there's air conditioning, there's toilets. You know, we wanted a barn structure, but we want something really different and something where people come here and they're like, wow, it was much better than I expected. It's mainly used for corporate outings and weddings. Melissa Ellswick is the event manager. When we were here, she was showing an engaged couple the center, which she calls enchanting and magical. It's something you can't put into words. It's just, it's a feeling. Like people come in and people say, you know, I saw pictures. Pictures don't do it. It's the feel of it, the smell of it, it's the, the area. The sun shines perfectly through the windows, allowing for plenty of natural light in the spacious main area. And just for extra charm, exquisite chandeliers hang beautifully from the ceiling. A few steps toward the back of the building is a huge kitchen, three times the normal size. Look at the ceiling in here. We took these logs and literally we bought them from the side of a road that the guy was going to mulch them. If, he, if we, we didn't take them. And no matter where you walk in the center, you can't help but notice the floor as well. There's seven species in this floor. We have black walnut, cherry, apple, hickory. The wood throughout the structure comes mostly from pine, but aspen trees are also used. If a wedding is held here, there is no doubt the bride is top priority. This room is designed specifically for her, and brides absolutely love this sliding door. And what she does is look out. And she watches everyone coming in and fixing the place up. This door here is the most important door in the building. The bridesmaids get ready next door, and this room is where the groomsmen hang out. They can sleep here too. Just climb up to the next level, and you'll find the beds. Dave found them. Hey, this is cozy up here. I also went up to explore. Look at this bed. The frame came from a 100 year old barn. A headboard is supposed to look like a barn door. You'll have those old fashioned axes on the barn doors and it has it on the other side too. In all, eight people can sleep in the center. One of my favorite parts though of the entire building is this. The balcony. It's beautiful. I especially love the vines that wrap around the edge of the railing. They used to wrap around living trees. And they grow with the tree. And as they grow with the tree, they'll grow for about 20 years. Then they stop growing and they'll pull the top of the tree off when they stop growing. So we pull them out of the trees and try to make use of them. More vines are found on this arch where the bride and groom exchange vows. The ceremony takes place here. The father of the bride will walk the girl down the hallway over there, bring her through some white chairs here, and then they'll have their ceremony right here. And this is the lovely backdrop. And what a wonderful view it is. That's exactly why the owners built the Mohicans, so people can reconnect with nature and enjoy the simple things in life. I know what they're coming to. I know what they're going to experience. They don't know, but I know. And, um, you know, that makes me get out of bed every day. You know how lucky we are that we have that here? It was, it was so neat. I mean, the event center there that just you walk inside there and it's just so, it has that old feel to it, but it's a new place on the inside and the different types of wood. Right, now you can stay there as we said, but there are other places on that property where you can stay. We're gonna take you inside the cabins and the tree houses, trust us. Never seen anything like this. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. The whole property is just very beautiful. One of our Where in Ohio series, we were able to see the amazing Grand Barn. It was the, the center, that the event center at this place that we're about to take you inside to another location. There are 75 acres on this property, and it's not too far of a drive from Columbus in the northeastern corner of Knox County. Yeah, and the cabins have amenities unlike what you would normally see, you know, tree houses. They have lots of those there and mm -hmm. really big tree houses.
As you step foot on this property, you are surrounded by nature, tall trees, and beautiful views all around. Typically in settings like this, an overnight stay would require a tent, but on this property you have some other unique options. The first thing built here were the cabins, four of them, all generous sized, the smallest sleeps eight. And when you pull in here at night, it's fantastic. The cabins were built using aspen, hickory, and pine milled on the property, something owner Kevin Mooney says is important to these buildings. The sustainable part coming out where we don't want the products that we put in the building to come from a far, a far distance. In fact, some of the bed frames and furniture in the cabins come from reclaimed wood found in the surrounding area. The other wooden chairs and tables were made from the Amish in this region. Like this rocking chair, which I thought we would never get Mindy away from. There are modern features as well to the cabins, including a full kitchen and a heated floor for those cold winter nights. The kid and me really like the catwalk to the bedrooms over the entryway, and of course, the outdoor showers. Yes, you have to be, have an outdoor shower. It's the best. I mean, you're, you're showering and you can hear the birds and the animals. It's just mystical. You can see how they embrace the surroundings. Even the walkway to the shower has a little fossil-like feature of local plant imprints. So how about staying in a tree house? Get your hiking shoes on and head your way up the curvy wooden path to the top of a hill where a big tree house sits atop. This is the gem. Everybody wants to come to the brew house, the tree house. But what inspires an adult to build a tree house? We built this after we built the cabins. One of my neighbors showed me this book about tree houses, and when I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have this. So up 25 more feet of stairs and awaiting you is a narrow bridge to your tree house. It's just fun. It's just fun walking across, it moves, you're a little nervous, like what was that? Get inside. This isn't your typical kid's tree house. It has those little comforts and conveniences adults would like, including a cozy upstairs bed that, to be honest, is perfectly fit for two. You know what I keep seeing over and over in the guest book? It's magical and mystical. That's the, same, the, the thing I hear so often. The modern Pete Nelson design tree house is built a bit different as well. In old days, we would attach the tree house to two trees, and eventually it would crumble. Now we attach it to one, and then we put a brace across to the second tree and we let it move on the second tree. So you're gonna feel this structure move a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm sure if I went over and walked across the bridge, you'd feel it move. Of course, they kept with the concept of the tree house. They even have a rather large swing. I think every tree house should have a swing. I think it's just fun. It's just, it, I mean, you feel like a little kid when you're up in these. So why not do what little kids do? And that's swing. The other tree house on the property is easier to get to, especially if climbing is not your thing. And this one includes more living space, another bedroom downstairs, and plenty of bed space upstairs. Both tree houses offer different beautiful views of the Mohican Valley. When you are out of the large porches, you can't help but soak in nature. Oh, the sounds. I mean, just listen to what we hear. Isn't that awesome? It's hard not to be relaxed when you come out here. This is my job? Am I doing this? I'm like, this is so cool. I mean, I, I really like when I talk to people coming out of the tree houses because they're so happy. Quite often, we have to kick them out, uh, telling them, oh, we have housekeeping coming, another couple coming in. Yeah, you have to go. They're like, oh, no. Location. We <laughs> loved it. Loved it, loved it. A lot of people are wondering again what the name was. We said it in our first piece. It is either, you can look it up as the Mohicans or the Cabins. Yeah, I think Mohicans. the website's Mohican Cabins. I'm sure our producer will put a link on our website, but you can Google Mohican Cabins also. You know what I, what he said at the end about them kicking people out? They actually had to kick us out. Remember that <laughs> yeah. at the end? Goodbye. Get out now. Yeah, yeah because people were coming exactly. in to stay at one of the tree houses. So and we're not were... very vocal people either. We don't like to talk a lot, so... Totally I'm not saying another word. <laughs>